All right, hello boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. My name is Mr. Lan. I will be walking you through fourth grade social studies, week number three. All right, so this is going to be uh, still the history class. We started talking about um, history, pre-Europeans, American history, uh, I believe three weeks ago. So this is going to be week number three. We're still going to be talking about some of those things. We're going to be talking about the causes and the effects of the European colonization. Okay, so what really caused it? And what are the consequences? What are the effects of it? So let's see a few reasons why the Europeans explored and colonized America. Uh, to want to know the truth about it, <laughs> through history, we can see that the Europeans were largely motivated by economic opportunities, competition, and desire to expand their territories. Uh, but unfortunately, lots of them came under the guise of religion. Even though there were genuine reasons to want to go to other lands to worship and to worship God, but those reasons were tainted by desires to make more money, to expand into their territories. And those were some of the facts um, on ground, which we cannot ignore. We have to acknowledge those facts, uh, unfortunately. And that doesn't mean that God didn't prophesy that those kind of things will happen. But it's important to acknowledge those facts. There were significant explorers in Texas, like Cabeza de Vaca, Francis, Francisco, Coronado, Rene Robert, and all these other people over here. What are the effects of it? Uh, the European invasion led to the establishment, establishment of Catholic missions and Spanish settlements. And I believe God took uh, a hold of that and did some things with it. Because unfortunately, the people who were living here, they had uh, some idolatry and idolatrous ways of working, which, you know, God will not be pleased with that. So pretty much like the Bible days, God told the people of Israel to go um, chase away the Amalekites and the Hevites because of their idolatry and all the really terrible things that they were doing over there. And unfortunately, when the nation of Israel started doing those kind of things, they got evicted, evicted out of the land as well. Well, pretty much is what happened over here as well. Uh, there were really terrible practices like uh, cannibalism and idolatry and all kinds of crazy things that people were doing. So it's not going to be surprising that God will stir up hearts of people like the Europeans to come uh, occupy this place. And unfortunately, they came over here, not necessarily totally devoted to the cause of the creation. Their greed and their evil intentions marred the expedition that will have led to a significant revival in the land. But it's important to, act, to really identify and acknowledge those things that happened over there. But nonetheless, the in invasion of the Europeans led to the spread of what we know right now as Christianity. And ultimately, there was a Mexican War of Independence. Texas was a province under Spanish Mexico. Father Miguel Hidalgo Castilla led an uprising against the Spanish in 1810. And this led to the war, which lasted until 1824. After the war, a constitution was formed in Mexico, including Texas, where most American colonists had migrated. American colonists became the majority in Texas right after that revolution. So uh, Texas, Spanish Mexico revolted against the Spaniards and they became a separate nation back in 1824. And in that nation, there were Anglo-Americans living in Texas. And the American colonists came all the way from North America down over here to Texas. And as time went on, the Anglo-Americans became the majority in Texas. And in 1836, Texas declared independence from now Mexico and then became a part of the United States. So that's a little fact of history about the colonization of the Europeans, the causes and the effects. And remember, these things were prophesied in the Bible based on Matthew 24, verse 4 to verse 6. That will be a fun read for you. Turn to your Bible and read that with us. All right. So I want to thank you, boys and girls, for joining us today. Remember, God cares about you, and so do we. Until next time, bye-bye.
I'll be your hero's body And as you study with heroes born I will be your friend